Hi guys, my name is Sage Edsel and I currently live in Woodward, Oklahoma with my husband Tim. We moved to Woodward after getting married in September of 21. And a little bit of backstory about me, I grew up in Derzat, Texas, which is close to Perryton, Texas, if you guys are familiar with that area of the Texas Panhandle. Um, I have loved art ever since I could remember. In kindergarten, I was drawing unicorns with horns the sizes of witches' hats, so very unproportional, but I have grown milestones from um, those unicorns. Uh, my mom was really instrumental in pushing me to pursue my artistic side. We would do arts and crafts at home, and she would always encourage me um, to continue drawing. And also, my grandmother, um, my dad's mom, Patricia Kinsey, she was a painter as well. So I learned little tips and tricks from her, and looking at her artwork really inspired me. Fast forward a few years, I ended up graduating from high school from Allen Cleo, so local to the area, and then went on to pursue a uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. So I actually didn't have any instruction, art instruction in high school. I went to a bunch of small towns and art was just not one of those classes that were available at the time. So when I went to OPSU, I kind of went in with big eyes and wanted to learn everything I possibly could. And I certainly did. I spent five years out there at Goodwill and got my degree, like I said, in Bachelor of Fine Arts. And I had an emphasis in drawing and painting and also got a minor in education. So I thought maybe most of my family was in the education field. I might would like to teach art in the future. And I had several professors there that encouraged me so much. And I love each and every one of them. From the bottom of my heart, Yvonne Sangster, Brent Shoulders, Brian Test, and Larry Wiggins, and also David Elder, have been a huge part of my art artistic career and continue to be a big part of my life now. After OPSU, I was a little unsure of where I wanted to go with my artistic career, so I started looking into grad school. And I decided to attend grad school at West Texas A&M University in Canyon, Texas. Spent two and a half years there, learned a whole lot of other things that I hadn't learned previously at OPSU. Kind of opened my eyes a little bit to a little bit different part of the art, wor art world. And I had some great professors there as well. John Rivette, he was um, my advisor, and I had many classes with him. He actually encouraged me to teach a couple classes as a grad student, so I taught uh, Drawing One with John as my supervisor. Um, got to know a bunch of great people out there in the Texas Panhandle and after I finished with my master's degree in December of 2019, I actually applied for a job at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum right next door, right on the campus of WT and was accepted at that job. So I started working in February of 2020 at the museum there in the education department. So that was a great experience. We got to travel to a bunch of schools in the Texas Panhandle, teach kids art, may, some that may not have had art classes available to them. So I felt a special connection with those kids because, you know, like I said, growing up, I didn't have very many at all art classes in high school. So we would bring a trunk full of art supplies to the kids and teach a little art lesson. And it was just, it was so great to see the kids' face faces light up and say, well, I want to be an artist like you when I grow up. And uh, so that was a great experience, loved it, spent, I think it was a little over, or a little close to two years there at the museum. And then my husband and I got married in September 21, like I'd mentioned, and we moved to Woodward, where we currently are now. I continue to paint and draw and just keep art a part of my life. I am working at a little place in Woodward right now where I currently have my art on display. I still love acrylic painting. That was one of my first loves from way back, I think it was my freshman year of high school that I actually did my first acrylic painting. So still doing acrylic painting, still drawing. 
So currently I've been inspired by photographs from my grandma's collection and they're very old family history photographs. Most of them she has written on the back in her handwriting so we know who they are, but some of them are a mystery. So a few of the pieces that I have on display here at the Graceful Arts Center are from inspired by those photographs so a couple of them I do not know who the person is in the photograph but that is what really kind of draws me to use those photos as a reference because once we pass on and pass those photographs down on to younger generations and there's not the handwriting on the back of the photo so we don't know who it is that person is kind of lost from memory so there's no one to ask you know, who is this person? So I'm trying to keep those people who may be unnamed alive in my photographs so they can live on a little bit longer. Um, most of, I think all of, the, all of the paintings I have here are acrylic at the Graceful Arts Center. And most of them have a little Western flair to them. So I didn't grow up in the country, but I grew up with a dad who was into cattle. He still has cattle. And now my parents live out in the country. And a few of the photos, or a few of the paintings you'll notice, also are of cowboys and that sort of nature. So those actually come from my husband's side of the family. And I've pulled photos from his grandparents and use those as reference for my photos. Now, some of the photos I'm using as reference are black and white, so that kind of opens a whole new spectrum, spectrum of problems because then I have to go in and choose the color palettes, which may or may not be correct, but that's kind of the fun part of it, getting to use my artistic license and add color where there was not color before. So thanks for listening, guys. Um, I hope you'll stop by the Graceful Arts Center in Alva and check out uh, my new work. And you can also find more information about me and check out some more of my other pieces on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, it's sage.edsel.art. So go check that out. I've also got a Facebook. It's Sage Kinsey Edsel Art and Photography. So go give me a like. Make sure to follow. And... I can't wait to see you guys interact with my art page and come see my new work here at Alpha.